Yo, welcome in guys. Uh, so today I'm going to go over this setup that I found for the Honda 450. Uh, I know it's not, it doesn't seem like it's really used a lot, um, but I found a really good setting for outdoors with it. And uh, obviously I'm kind of a Honda enthusiast. Um, so I did a lot of testing. I run a lot of outdoors. So you guys that like outdoors, um, here's a good setup for it. Um, on general, if you go with a gas, I go 5.8, make it a little lighter, 5.5, five, somewhere in there is good. Um, you can play around with that. I'm sure there's better settings, but I, I run 5.7 and I like it. 90, 120, one, uh, stock pressure, brake stock. I don't I don't like, I don't go to 18 or 20. I like go to 16 so that I'm not flipping when I'm tapping on the front brakes. Um, so um, stock, all this, whatever it comes with. Uh, suspension for the front, um, we are going to go with the 4.8 spring. Um, and then a bump and rebound at 10 uh, to kind of make the front end softer and quicker so that you can um, you can turn better and get into ruts whenever you're at fast speeds. Uh, Preload at 6, oil about 110. Um, you can play around with the oil if you'd like, uh, but I found 110 is a sweet spot. Uh, for the spring, I got going with the 50. Um, slow bump at 12. And then fast at three and a four. So we're really kind of softening this bike up so that it can move around well and you can um, kind of manipulate it good whenever you're at, uh, outdoors. Preload at six, rebound 12. Three and a quarter turns in your fast bump is if you're here. Uh, Drivetrain, I like 1448. Uh, obviously with the rear, if you get to 52, 53, that's more uh, super cross and stuff. But 1448 has been good to me outdoor wise. Um, and then fork offset 23, fork height, I will go with eight. Um, you can go down to like five or six if you feel like it's turning too much for you. I like being able to like turn a lot, um, and kind of correct it with the, the leaning and stuff, but swing arm at five, um, so that you can be able to still kind of move pretty well, uh, rod length of 148. Uh, when you go to test it, it should be around like 92, 93 sag, which seems like not right, but, um, you don't want it too loose because then it just you just rebound and go everywhere on this game and it's just you want to keep the rear wheel to the ground ride like jet lawrence <laughs> as they say so um i have a little bit of gameplay from walnut went from like 23rd to uh 10th or 11th was feeling good and the setup was good and i was cornering really good so i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you guys all for tuning in and continue to support the channel so uh, like and subscribe thank you guys uh